Today, about a wintertime swim bait that will work uh, all over the country. I'm talking about a rig that you must throw uh, in the wintertime. Down here in New Orleans, uh, you got the baby bull shads that hatch real small, um, and the bass, speckled trout, uh, even redfish go after those baby bull shads and they the bass will school up and just, I'm talking about tear them up on top of the water. But anyway, went out the other day, Hopedale Marina, haven't been there a long time with my good friend and pastor, David Madden, and it was a slow start. We weren't catching anything for probably a good two and a half hours. And I said, don't give up on me, Pastor Dave, because once we find them, it's gonna be on like Donkey Kong. We're gonna wear them out. But there was one lure up again, that after we caught them. Now, we didn't catch any big fish. Uh, biggest one we caught was probably a pound and a half, but we caught a lot of numbers. We caught about 50 fish and we had a blast. Uh, perfect weather, little bit of wind. Uh, overcast about 60 degrees and it was just hardly anybody out on the water and we had a blast we caught our limit brought home our limit cleaned them and uh, and ate them with the family so right here this is the swim bait look I don't have any in the pack but this pack I'm telling you lasted me uh, over a year I've had this pack. This is the Slim Swims, all right? Z-Man Slim Swims, the deal color. This was the three inch. Comes in six in a pack. And I've had them over the year, over a year. I've still got two of them. Right there is one of them right there on this underspin, all right? That's what we were catching them on right there. And I was throwing a cool baits cool underspin. underspin you can see how it's designed there with a dual ball bearing this is a uh, spinner bait swivel right here so it it turns more than a single barrel swivel this is a quarter ounce but I was throwing an eighth ounce underspin with this three inch slim swim z-man slim swims and what you want to do, I've already done it to this one. When you pull it up to the head, look how perfectly that matches up to this cool baits. I mean, it is a good combination, deadly combination. You want to get you a dab of super glue and just put it right there in front of the head before you pull this swim bait all the way flush with the head. And that's going to help the bait stay on longer. And it will last a lot longer. And you can catch tons of tons of fish on this same swim bait right here. This last text is just super, super tough. I even caught it on video. I was bragging about it, talking about how many, how many species I caught. Redfish, speckled trout, bass, crappie, you name it all species on this bait right here speckled trout bass crappie and i cast out there and the next cast one hits it and for some reason i jerked like i was trying to hit a grand slam home run and snap my line lost my eight ounce cool baits i will be ordering some more this is a quarter ounce i will be ordering some eight ounce cool baits underspin i'll put the link link in the description below you got to get some for wintertime fishing. Um, this was the two and a half inch. I guess when I ordered them last time, maybe that's all they had, I can't remember, but, so whoops. So I went to the two and a half inch 
And that jig head right there, I want to talk to you guys about it. Look at that jig head and that hook right there. I think it's a one off hook. This is Dirty Jigs Tackle. All right, Dirty Jigs Tackle, and that is the guppy. I think they call it a guppy head. Eighth ounce. I love this jig right here with small finesse swim baits. If you throw a, 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 a 2.8 Kai Tech, um, I throw this a lot at Smith Lake, at Lewis Smith Lake. This jig head, the hook is the perfect size for swim baits that are small, three inches or less. And it really runs true in the water. Um, with all these swim baits, you know, if I throw an eighth ounce, I like to throw lighter line. We were throwing 10 pound tests in the marsh catch, catching these bass. Uh, when I go to a place like Smith Lake or something with clear water, I'll even bump it down to maybe eight pound test or even six pound test, depending on how uh, the water clarity, how deep you can uh, see the lure. So, but really sharp hooks, runs really true, and a good, good jig head, if you notice, let me take one out of the pack. If you notice, the bait keeper is these little ribs right here, little rivets. And so the elastex goes up over it easier. That's another reason. If I'm fishing this Z-Man plastics, this elastex, this is a good matchup. This is a good jig head for this type of plastic. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'm gonna put the link to all these lures in descri the description below. This is a must have for wintertime fishing right here. It's gonna match the hatch. You can go out there and fish these, reel it slow. Um, you're gonna catch fish, all different species on this lure right here, I'm telling you. Speckled trout, I've caught them by UBM and you. Uh, they bite it, redfish bite it, bass bite it. I've even caught crappie, uh, sakala down here in Des Almas. I'm trying to get you to say, hey, sakala, sakala, crappie, that's what we call it in Alabama's crappie. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Get out there, catch some fish. We'll see you next time on Real Life with Lucas Black.